Welcome to this guide on how to install XMBC on a Revo 3600 using XCI. First you need to go to the XCI website, scroll down to where it says uh, how to perform a recommended install, then download the 32-bit image. While this is downloading, go to UNET booting website and download it. It allows you to transfer ISOs to USB. Select the mini ISO and make sure that the correct drive is selected. It will wipe the memory stick so back up anything you have on it. Once done, plug the memory stick in to the Revo and boot it up. OK, select install. And then select your language and then keyboard settings. It will then ask you to name the machine. I called mine Revo. Now I'm going to download uh, the basic packages, so I'm going to fast forward here. Now to partitioning, what you want to do is select use entire disk and then make sure you select the 160 gigabytes hard drive. Now enter in a name and a username. I chose Revo. And then type in a password. Say no to encrypt your home directory. And then what it's going to do is download a couple of packages again say no to automatic updates then I'll fast forward it here because it takes quite a long time now you need to select the packages uh, press the space bar uh, selecting basic Ubuntu server then go down to open SSH server press space bar then tab uh, and then click continue Okay, this takes quite some time, so I'm going to fast forward it again. Say yes to UTC. And then that's it, we're about done. So, what we need to do now is take the memory stick out and reboot the machine. So we're not completely done yet. What we've done is basically installed uh, the Linux operating system and it's a command line so there's no fancy interface at the moment. Right, so log in using your username and password that you chose. Okay, next we're going to be typing in a long command at the top. Basically this downloads the XCI script which does all the hard work for us in installing XBMC. Okay, that's downloaded. Now we need to type in one more command. And this basically launches the script for us. Now the guys at XCI have done a fantastic job in preparing these scripts for people who are new to Linux and new to XBMC. So we've got a menu here uh, with quite a few options. 
and basically you've got to start at the top the first option install xbmc live 9.11 um, I'd recommend going with the uh, 190 stable I find it it just works right okay uh, this is for the boot up screen I just selected one at random right now you need to select your resolution if you've got 720p TV then go with that I've got 1080p Okay, next is the audio. You need to select the 1.023 version. The standard Ubuntu version has a known problem, so it's best that you select that. Um, just click OK on that and then say yes. Okay, now that's go go and install XBMC and do all the configuration and everything for you. The reason why we chose the different sound option is that the Ubuntu packages don't allow audio through HDMI. My telly is connected via HDMI, so that's why I've chosen that different version for the sound. okay so we're nearly done now I've sped up the uh, video quite a bit because um, this does take quite some time installing uh, so yeah I think we're nearly done now so what it's going to do is reboot the machine and then hopefully we should have a nice uh, XBMC installation there we go all done Now if you exit XMBC you'll end up at the command line again and what you can do is go through the same commands as we did uh, last time and you can go through the menus and set up things like Wi-Fi if you need it. Okay thanks go to the XCI team uh, for their hard work on producing the scripts. Um, there's some brilliant work being done in making it easy to install XBMC. Um, if you want any more information on actually using XBMC then check out techmadeeasy.co.uk for some guides on how to use it. Thank you for watching.